What is going on guys, it's your boy DPJ and today I bring you my Alien vs Predator map references and easter eggs from the movie to the map ruins. Can I first off say a big shout out to the Brett Burns as it was his original AVP easter egg video that gave me the initial kick to go out and buy the AVP movies and scour the shit out of them for all things that tie into the Devastation map ruins. So let's start. First off, if any of you guys have watched the original Predator movies, there is nothing in them, and you will know this, that ties them to the blueprint designs of this ruins map. The first Predator movie was set in a jungle, the second was set in Los Angeles. So this whole ruins Mayan Aztec theme really has nothing to do with Predator, if you are referring him to the original Predator movies. But if you have watched, if you do watch the Alien vs Predator movies that come out in 2004 and I think 2009, maybe a bit earlier, you initially realise after watching them that the whole plot behind the movie is to do with ancient cultures like the Aztecs, like the Mayans, basically worshipping the Predators and after scouring, which basically means searching high and low for anything alien related because their Predator presence is blatant in the Ruins map there isn't much of a direct link to aliens, but I have found a couple of references and a few other things that maybe could be something of an AVP link. Let's start off with the structures in and around this map. They are very similar to those which are in the AVP movie. Even on the outside of this map, what we see, the structures we see, are very similar in design to the ones we see in the AVP movie. Now in the original AVP movie, when they initially get underground to where the heat signature brings them, they find a temple which is guarded by statues of predators holding staffs. Same sort of thing as what we see on this ruins map, but only with a single predator statue guarding what seems to be the main temple. Also in the movie, you see a helicopter, only for a brief period of time, transporting two explorers to their destination of the project's manager. This helicopter's design looks very similar to the one crashed in this ruins map. All through colours are different, design wise it's basically identical. Another thing we see throughout the movie and throughout the ruins map are Aztec and Mayan calendars. They play a major role in the movie and it seems they play a major role in the design of this map. Another thing to cover is the sacrifice chamber in the movie and the ties it has in relation to this ruins map. In the movie after an explorer finds a way using a certain date code on the calendar, they eventually end up in a sacrifice chamber where humans, who must have fought as the predators as gods, would offer their lives, offer to sacrifice their lives to be impregnated by alien eggs which the predators would hunt and determine their pride role. So basically, humans would offer their lives, get impregnated by the alien eggs and then the predators would hunt their aliens. And that's basically the main reason, the main thing behind the film. And it's the same sort of thing, where it's an eerie similar sort of thing as what we see in this map. We saw like this sort of cut off chamber, sort of nothing to do with the map. You actually can't get into this part of the map when playing online. But you can see there is basically schools on the wall. There's a alien sculpture on the wall. There's also an alien egg on the ceiling. It's not a fact, but it, the similarities are there. Now, the last thing I found, which actually could be the most interesting, but then again, it could be easily a misinterpretation. It's this war image. At first, it looked like some sort of beaked bird, but you have to remember the way things were depicted in these drawings were sort of an exaggeration or characterized by the style. But this to me could depict a war drawing of an alien and I'll draw around the part I mean so you guys get where I'm coming from. It's some sort of creature with a tail with a spike on the end. It's got a long flexible body but the most interesting part is its head. It does look like some sort of bird like I said but you cannot deny what looks to be like a head attached to a tongue coming out of its mouth. Just like what we see with an alien which I'll put on screen but like I said this could be a misinterpretation of something completely irrelevant or it could be a characterised depiction of an alien. But what do you guys think about this whole scenario? Let me know your thoughts down below. If you guys enjoy easter eggs and like the detail I try and put into them, check out the playlist in that video description. There are plenty for you guys to check out. Also drop a like on this video and maybe subscribe if you wanna. One other thing I'd like to add 
and mention is this weird stamp sort of thing on the bottom of the helicopter what is this is it some sort of calendar if you guys know let me know down below hope you enjoyed the video thanks for watching as always and peace out till next time